Dome of Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed, baby. Now, this boxing going on, you know, because it's basically wilder week, right? Wilder week. But at the same time, the NBA playoffs is popping off. Don't even try to act like you ain't into it. People ain't into it, whatever. You know, there's other people in there over there talking about, shoot, Champions League going on, Tottenham and Liverpool, but y'all got to wait till June for that. Right now, it's the NBA playoffs, but the Milwaukee Bucks and them, Toronto handling their business, and uh, Steph and Clay trying to make sure, to let people remind them what's up. And Dame Time ain't trying to have it. All right, so some stuff going on, you know. So we you know all this just boxing. You better be some big news for a brother to, you know, you know, spend all this boxing time right now. We'll get around to it. But it's wilder week. Okay? It's a different ball game. Wilder week going up against your boy uh Dominic Brazil. And let's talk a little Dominic Brazil for a sec. Dominic Brazil, you know, he's talking too. Now that's a whole stuff uh, I'm gonna do an extra video about Deontay Wilder's talking because he, he got some trouble talking too much. But your boy Dominic Brazil, man, is 6'7, 250. He done straight up said, listen, man, Deontay Wilder needs to be a cruiserweight somewhere messing around. You know, you want to be a great heavyweight, you're going to have to be 230 and up. I ain't let no little dude beat me, basically, is what he just said. He's like, hell no, this fight ain't going the distance. Whatever. Right? He should be a cruiserweight. He's not big enough up here, come running around up here. Now, <clears throat> the thing is, right, Dominic Brazil. Is somebody underestimate them him if you want to, right? If you want to, I'm not. It, uh, your boy Deontay Wilder come in here and take care of him easy too. I would, I would be I'm surprised at that. But because you know De, uh, Deontay Wilder handles these big guys, but I've always told you the issue is these guys are so much bigger than him. And I worry about his right hand and right arm breaking because of the velocity of the shots, right? And I always mention David Hay has a similar case because these boys. They hit very hard and fast. And then, you know, the body, you know, it breaks down, basically. So, you know, you have issues with that. The dude's probably right, uh, Dominic Brazil, but the, at the end of the day, it's like this. 39 dudes, right, probably, you know, from them 39, a good 30 were bigger than me. And you know, something happened to them, <laughs> bottom line, right? My issue is how long would that continue? That's why I would love to see big fights before, uh, you know, he breaks down. Because it might happen when he's only 36 years old as opposed to a guy who's just huge and he could probably go into being 42, 43, like a George Foreman or something like that. I just think, you know, basically Deontay Wilder could fight Cruiserweight. But Dominique Brazil is not to be underestimated. You know what I'm saying? Because some people are, you know, are athletes, right? Deontay Wilder, we know he's an athlete. We think we could get on a basketball court and handle some business a little bit at least, right? But Dominique Brazil, being a quarterback, Guys, uh, he has a good point about, you know, I ain't scared of nobody. Because, you know, a quarterback, 6'7", 250, you know, has to be a little mobile because what is going on? What does a quarterback do? He don't just throw. He better try to get out of the way of 300-pound dudes that are mad. And then he looks across the line at linebackers, who are some of the meanest dudes on the planet. Linebackers. They want contact. They know that the running back coming through that hole, and they're going to crack him. Right? Don't care if the fullback is coming first. They'll crack the fullback and spin and hit the running back too. Okay? And trying to get quarterbacks. Linebackers and strong safeties are very mean. Well, I'm talking about through the history. You know, the Singletaries the, of the world shoot Jack uh, Lambert of the world. You know, little dude with, you know, I know some stories. Jack Lambert in the locker room. Uh, who else? Um, you know, Lawrence Taylor's, stuff like that. So if he's looking over the line at linebackers, he ain't going to be scared of no Deontay Wilder. You know, and that's a good point. You know what I'm saying? Plus, that leads me to believe, you know, the guy is intelligent. He has to, you know, have some hand-eye coordination and some things, you know, depending on how I haven't seen any highlights of him quarterbacking. But I'm just saying, being able to play that position, you have to have a few attributes. All right? And so, you know, you learn the boxing game and everybody's improving. All of these guys, a lot of these guys that we got at the top of the game, uh, a few of them have started late. We were doing other things and started late. It's not just Deontay Wilder or Brazil or whatever. It's a lot of them didn't start really early. Even Anthony Joshua didn't start real early. You know, these dudes didn't start at five, six years old. You know what I'm saying? So, 
it's a lot of good athletes that are turning themselves into boxing. And Dominic Brazil may not look like one, but um, from his past, there's some things we need to be, you know, alarmed and, um, you know, aware about. Now, uh, you know, he's like, I I'm going to beat Deontay Wilder anyway because I want to rematch with Anthony Joshua. When I beat him, then I'll get the rematch with Anthony Joshua. So, listen, Dominic Brazil is formidable. He has as uh, aspirations. He is coming to make sure he takes Deontay Wilder out. And he obviously ain't scared of him, right? So let's see what happens going forward. He thinks this little old dude, this little old cruiserweight ain't beating him, right? So what's going to happen? Is, is he going to be right? Or is Deontay Wilder going to do what he's done to the other dudes that were 30 or 40 pounds heavier than him? That makes it interesting. Y'all know y'all tuning in. Double Sports Talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.